gonna be doing some uh, infinite zombies again today. Uh, right now we're at 36,000 for the week. Um, here's the buffs where we're at so far. And uh, yeah, let's get things started. Let's get things rocking here. Uh, so we're gonna do a challenge and we're gonna do our usual formula of the resources. I believe that's 2,400 in resources. Uh, that's the gold one, the 12% resource rate is going to be our purple item, the plus one for the rewards amount, and then the green just to add a little bit more resources in there. Uh, some people do use this little explosive robot. Um, I like just having that little bit of resources to help at the beginning. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this rolling. Now you'll see me refresh this a few times because um, I want the zombies to come out of the gate that's over here. So um, that way I can predict where they're going to come out and um, and at what stage they're going to come out of different gates. So, uh, they are coming out of here now. So I'm going to set my base layer of defenses. I'm going to get, put a, my couple EMPs up. Now the goal of this is to have EMP coverage across all areas. That way all zombies are slowed down. I'm going to go lasers here. Um, I believe the set formula that I used to have, or that I normally have, is rockets at these two spots. Um, however, I'm just going to change it up a bit and see if that's any effective. Um, so we'll see how that works out. I'm going to get this going while I'm building out the rest of my base layer defenses. Zombies are only coming out of this gate right now. So, um, you know, the, my defenses as set will have no issues taking them down. Um, all right. So the goal right now is through the first two rounds to have, if you notice at the beginning, I did the plus one. Um, reward amount. So you see I have four different items here. So I do that because I have found that I have a higher probability of getting reward quality boost, which I happen to get on round one. Um, I, have, I have a higher probability of getting this within the first two rounds versus doing it the other way. If I start with reward quality boost, it's a lot less likely for me to get that plus one. And having that plus one slot I feel really makes a big difference in terms of uh, the items you get. So uh, that's my reasoning for that. We did get best case scenario here, reward quality boost on round one. So we're going to take that. And now we have four slots and a reward quality boost heading into round two. So we're going to play this all the way through. Uh, zombies are now coming out of the main gate and then this secondary gate right here. And if you notice, I'm getting all my base defenses up to a level three. And I'm going to just kind of watch them do their thing right now. Okay, I've uh, got uh, some items here. I don't even use machine guns, so I'm not going to worry about that. 20% rocket damage is a pretty solid item, so we're going to go with that and keep things going. Now, if you'll notice right here, I have about 300 resources. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let those resources uh, accumulate because I know after this round, zombies will come out of this gate or this gate um, i don't know which of the two but it will come out of definitely one of those two my preference is always this gate because it's my baseline is well i'll show you guys in just a second here um, all right so the items i got i got 600 resources i got base hp of 20 machine gun meh um, and obviously i'm going to choose 600 over 300 so um, these two are actually kind of tough to choose between because resources are you know, I'm early in the game, so obviously the 600 resources will go away. Um, but the HP, having a decent HP boost, I find really helps. So I'm going to go with that one and obviously hope I made the right decision. Zombies are now coming out of this gate. Um, so I told you it was going to be one of those two. It ended up being this one. I do like the zombies to come out of the other gate that I specified. The reason being is... It's along my base kind of line of defenses. So, you know, I, I'm still just building up my kind of baseline there. So a um, little bit unfortunate there, but it's okay. All right. And here we go with our items. We got two really good items, the rocket and the uh, laser damage. The laser damage, we build way more lasers than we do rockets. So this laser damage is one of the better items in the game. So we're definitely going to roll with that and be very happy with that. All right, pumping this up to a level four, getting one more laser in here just to be extra triple 
sure on things here. Okay, now, zombies will come out after this round out of this gate. See why I always start over here? Because I know where zombies are going to come out of. So it helps me kind of plan ahead. A-bomb is absolutely necessary in this game. Anytime you get one, pretty much pick it up. Um, so we got it. We got it nice and early. So we're going to rock with that. I almost personally wish we would have got the A-bomb slightly later. I would really like, especially early in the game, is another resource rate that's purple the, to give another 12% of every time you kill a zombie, you get 12% more resources. Um, but it just is what it is. Um, you know, uh, so, you know, we can't control what we get, but uh, we can just make the best of it. So uh, doing our best to make the best of it right here. And that's all the way up to a three. And I do add a rocket there. All right, going to go back here and kind of build out my uh, this kind of center island because this gets the most zombies. All right. Uh, oh, man. Okay. So this is a good problem to have, but it's still a problem. Uh, so two of the best items in the game I happen to get on the same turn. Uh, so anytime you get a 40% laser damage, you pretty much always take it. Anytime you get an A-bomb, you pretty much always take it. So what do you get when you get both of them? I don't know. <laughs> so I think... Oh, man, this is tough. I'm going to go with the A-bomb. I, I just feel that it's just that much better of an item. But it's... I mean, you saw how much I had to think about that. It's, 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 it's a tough choice. So... Um, we're going we're gonna to roll with that, and uh, we already made our choice, so we're going to stick with it. I've got to get this, uh, this EMP here and just continually building up my defenses along the way here. All right. All right. Oh, shoot. Okay. So now remember earlier when I was deciding between a blue HP, which was only 20, and the 600 resources at this point, because now I have an HP of a 40, which obviously I didn't know I was going to get at the time. Um, I wish I would have gone the extra resources, but it is what it is. This uh, purple HP is the best of anything we have here. So we're going to go with that. Honestly, just wish I got that earlier, or maybe I made you know, change up my decision from earlier, but you just can't bank on getting something else later in the game. All right. So getting these kind of items built in here. Because zombies started coming out of this gate, I am just at the point where I'm just going to build defenses everywhere. So I'm going to fill in all the available slots to make sure that uh, you know we've got a spot everywhere. If zombies come out of the other gate, I usually leave this side. And when I mean the other gate, this one, after round three, I believe, or round five, I can't remember, um, I usually leave the other side, um, the left side open. Um, but since it came in reverse order, it just is what it is. All right, so we got some really good purple items. 1,200 in resources is huge. Same with the 40% EMP damage. Um, but to me, laser damage, because we build so much lasers, is one of the best items in the game. So I'm going to continually uh, go with that one, although it is difficult to pass up on 1,200 resources. But uh, we're going to keep with that damage right there. I'm going to pause it real quick. We have 1,300 resources. Every spot except one has a defense. I did some research after the last time. What I normally do at this point is I build everything up to a level 4. What I'm going to change this time, so every laser would essentially be a level four. I am going to experiment a bit, and I'm going to build the corners to level fives. The reason being is, oh, this didn't tell me. The, um, I noticed the, the difference between a level four and a level five uh, laser defense 
when I was in the normal tower defense, you know, when you do your regular tower defense, not infinite zombies in the same area, um, was double. It did double the damage. So I'm going to try things different. Let's see if that works. So I just want to let you guys know, why are you just building certain ones to level fives and others, you know, stick into a level three? That's the reasoning. Now, I worry this early in the game that I may get burned on it. Um, that's just kind of my honest take on things. All right, uh, so far we're doing pretty good. All right, just wanted to kind of see where things were. I know I have guys getting through. I'm hoping that I to, to conserve my A-bomb. So just in case you're wondering, why is a bunch of guys getting through? I know they're getting through. I'm purposely letting them get through. Um, that's, I guess, one of the benefits of having all those health boosts. Um, so, so far, so good. All right, we have a 30% all tower damage. This purple machine gun is worthless. Um, and obviously the two blues are nowhere near this. Every tower is going to get a 30% damage bump. So that's a, another huge boost. So um, we're going to rock with that one right there. And sticking with my, I guess, policy, if you want to say, of trying to just upgrade these key items to a level 5. I'm going to pause it real quick. I'm going to slow things down to a two speed. We're at 57 on our hit points. Um, and that is up to a level five. Okay. All right. So here we go. I'm trying to remember which ones. Okay. Okay. I'm at the point where I'm going to start thinking A bombs here. Um, and there it is. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay, so got a few items here. We're at 53 health points or hit points, or what do you want to call it. Um, so normally at this stage of the game, I would use this, but I feel like we've got some pretty decent HP. 30% all tower damage is really difficult to pass up. It's one of the better items in the game. So I'm going to go with that one um, and keep increasing our damage that we're, we're putting out here. And I'm still pumping up these center island defenses. Oh, shoot. And I still have an A-bomb in my back pocket. There we go. Pausing things. I want to get a lay, a sh the lay of the land here. Now, what I'm going to do, because I have such a good amount of hit points, I want to save this A-bomb for those Tyrannosaurus guys that are going to come out. So I'm going to let these guys get through. It's a dicey strategy, I know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with it and hope it pays off. Okay, pausing it right there. Now, some of you guys may be wondering, and part of me is wondering this myself. Um, I have put everything into this kind of center island, so once they get past this center island, they're taking on level three defenses. So that may be something I may adjust next time. Um, but so we have level fives all through this center kind of island up here. Um, we have level fives going through here. We have level fives going through here and a level five here. But we don't have any. This kind of area near the gate is still pretty low on defenses. So um, it's a conscious decision I'm making. Hopefully I don't get burned by it. I'm down to 23 hit points. Uh, I'm going to let these kind of few get through and then see how things shape up. There's those Tyrannosaurus guys starting to get through. 
I'm gonna let those guys go through and right here. I'm gonna be ready for this A-bomb. There it is. Launch the A-bomb. Pausing it. I have 1,900 in resources. Where can I put um, this? I think I'm gonna use put them on this laser. And then, yeah, so this laser will go up to a level five. And then I'm going to use it on one of these lasers as well. And we're just going to continue hoping for the best. We're at 35,000 points. Um, and the hope, the big hope, is to make it through this round. Um, do not know if that's possible, but if I can get these T-Rex looking things get down, then I got a shot. And we got guys getting through. Can I take down the T-Rex guy? Oh, no. All right, so we're really close to getting past that round, and I mean really close. Um, 36,000 points is nothing to sneeze at, um, but we were so close to getting through that round. So overall, I think I like the strategy of going to level fives. I think I might space them out a little bit more. So instead of just going all level fives on that center island, you know, maybe just putting them on the corners and then filling in the middle. I think I might change that up differently next time. So overall, pretty successful round. We'll, we'll roll with that. Uh, so please, as always, uh, drop some comments. Uh, always looking for ways to improve. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you next time.